Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with Tom Rivers, the Vice President of Connected Car and Connected Services for Harman. Good thanks morning. Thanks for having me. Hey, good morning hey, to you too. Hey, thanks for being here. So we're just going to kind of walk around sure. and, and chat about what you are showing new at Consumer Electronics Show. Sure. And start with eyes and ears, the Harman EXP. Yeah, so um, cars over the last decade have just been getting connected. And uh, manufacturers are just trying to put uh, telematics or um, cyber seat or digital cockpit into the cars. And they're just saying, but what about the consumer and all of this? That's what I always wonder. Yeah, so uh, what we're showcasing at Harman CES this year is uh, what we call experiences per mile. Mm -hmm. which is through the lens of a consumer, how do we solve for their pain points? Instead of just putting technology in the vehicle for technology's sake, we're doing it with a purpose now. Good. So eyes and ears is an example of raising the awareness of, 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 of safety mm -hmm. uh, and limiting distraction while driving into a bundled package of our technologies. So in other words, we'll take cloud computing, Okay. Uh, we'll take mon camera monitoring systems, which we have in here, we take ADAS, which is Advanced Driving Assistance Systems, yes. and we bundle those technologies together okay. to create an amazing outcome and experience for someone to be safe while they're driving. That's what so, you need. So that's what's in here. That's okay. the big picture. So we're solving consumer pain points. Okay. Instead of just putting technology in for technology's sake. So when you're doing all of this, do you look at what the consumer actually is saying they want, or are you trying to tell consumers what they want? Yes, yeah, so that's a great point here. So uh, we're solving for what the, we listen to them. So one of the things we heard is they want well-being in the car, mm -hmm. and they want to minimize distraction. Yes. Okay, so those are the pain points we're solving for. So, as an example, we, we have uh, a whole set of, of monitors in there and cameras in there. So, you have side cameras, rear cameras. Uh, cameras in the back seat. Cameras in the back, yeah. Yes. So, why do we have all those cameras? Because we want the car to be looking out for what's happening in front and behind them. So, we actually have a, a use case where we are doing V, v to P. Vehicle to person. Okay. And that might be the first time I've heard that. V to P. V to P. Yes. So V to P is this detects whether a person is going to get in the in the way of a car. It actually warns that person who has a mobile device oh. that a car is coming. Oh. And it pings back to the driver that that there's a person there. Okay. So this has eyes and ears, we call this, is because we want the car to be as proactive to warn somebody else, it could be a bicycle rider. So you can communicate with the person even yeah, though they're so not in the car. Yeah, so, so technology, your phone is emitting, transmitting its location, mm -hmm. that the car can pick up on that location of that person if you have a mobile device. That is crazy. And then they can get a warning in their phone. So, but what that does to the driver then, is it, so it, it gives them a chance to then the car to slow down, the car will slow down. It has now has ADOS features in there, right? Automatic braking at level one, level two. Right. So the car is super smart. Mm -hmm. So that's a way of somebody's well being. It's well being for the person in front of the car as well as the person in the car. Wow. So we're solving.